In this video, we're going to talk about candlesticks and a few related patterns. On the left, we have a bullish candle represented by a green color, and on the right, a bearish candle represented by a red color. When you see a bullish candle, it tells you that the price of the stock went up. Now, a candle can represent a different time frame. It could represent a one day time frame, a one hour time frame, a 15 minute time frame. It varies. But for this video, we're going to focus on candles that represent a one day time frame. Now, whenever you see a red candle, it indicates that the price of the stock went down for that day. Notice that for a bullish candle, the close is higher than the open because the price went up. But for a bearish candle, the open for that day is higher in price than the close. Now the top part of the candle represents the high of that day and the bottom represents the lowest price for that day. The difference between those two prices represents the range for that trading day. Now the middle part of the candle is known as the real body of the candle. The size of the real body can help you to determine if momentum is increasing or decreasing, which we'll talk about that later in this video. This is the upper wick, also known as the upper shadow. And the bottom part is known as the lower wick. Now there's something else that you could learn from these two candlesticks. A green bullish candle tells you that there's more buying pressure because that's why the price of the stock will go up. Whereas a red bearish candle indicates that there's more selling pressure driving the price of the stock down. So these two candles can tell you the relationship between the buyers and the sellers that are actively trading the stock. So here we have a candlestick chart showing a stock that is in an uptrend. The price of the stock is progressively moving up. And we also have bullish candles of varying sizes. So notice that the size of the body of this candle is very big, which means that there's a lot of buying pressure. Whereas the size of the body of that candle is relatively small. So the buying pressure is weak. So as we move during the first half of this uptrend, notice that the momentum is increasing. The size of the body of each of these candles, they're getting bigger and bigger. So the buying pressure is going up. Now, during the second half of the uptrend, the buying pressure is decreasing. The size of the real body of these candles is getting smaller and smaller. And so that's how you could use candlesticks to determine if momentum is increasing or if momentum is decreasing. So keep that in mind. Momentum is increasing during the first half because the sizes of the real body of the candles is increasing. And during the second half, momentum is decreasing because the sizes of the body of those candles is decreasing. Now, what do you think of these two candlesticks that are on the video screen that you're looking at right now. When you look at a candlestick, it tells you the story of what the stock is doing for that day. So let's look at the green candlestick at the top. So first, we're going to start with the open. The stock opened at this point. Now, two things could happen. The stock can go down to the low and then up to the high and then down to the close. So it starts at the open and it ends at the close. So that's one possible pattern that could have happened for that trading day. Of course, it's not going to look exactly like that. The variations in between the open and the close could be vastly different, but we do have the four main points, the open, the low of the day, the high of the day, and the close. What happens in between is anyone's guess. Now, Something else that could happen with this particular candlestick is that it can open here, but instead of going down to the low, it can go up to the high and then to the low and then back to the close. So that's possible too. 
Now you could have a lot of variations in the middle. It may actually look something like this. But nevertheless, we have the open, the close, the low of the day, and the high of the day. Now for the other candlestick on the bottom, the bearish candle, it's going to open here. The open is higher than the close when dealing with a red candle. So it can open here, it can go down to the low, and then back up to the high, and then down to the close. That's one option. Or it can start at the same spot, go up to the high, down to the low, and then to the close. So we can have a graph that has any one of these two features with a lot of variations in the middle. So that's how you can tell the story behind a particular candlestick. Now, what about this particular candlestick? What story does it tell between the buyers and the sellers that are active during this trading day? Now, this particular candlestick represents the shape of the hanging man candlestick, particularly when the stock goes from an uptrend and reverse to a downtrend. And it also represents the shape of the hammer when the stock goes from a downtrend to an uptrend. But for this particular candlestick, we know that the open is higher than the close. This is the low of the day, and the high is the same as the open, since we don't have an upper wick for this particular candlestick. Now what's happening here? Well, for one thing, the price is going to start at the open. And then it can go down to the low, and then back to the close. So that's one possibility. During the first half, the sellers are in control, and they are driving the price of the stock down. Now, during the second half, the buyers are in control, and they're driving the price of the stock back up to the close. Now, here's another possibility. The stock can open at that point. It can go down to the low, and then it can go back to the high, and then it can go to the close. So in this case, during the first part, the sellers are in control, bringing the price down. During the second part, the buyers are in control, bringing the price back up. And then during the third part of this graph, the sellers are driving the price back down to the close. So looking at a candlestick, it can tell you what's happening in the market during that trading day. Another useful feature of candlesticks is that you could use them to identify trend reversals. On the left, notice that the trend is in the downward direction. We have a downward trend. And on the right, we have an upward trend. The change from red to green indicates a potential trend reversal. And the same is true on the right. Here, the stock is in an uptrend and then it reverses to a downtrend. The color changes from green to red. Now on the left, what we have is a bullish engulfing pattern, which indicates uh, a possible reversal maybe do. Notice that the candlestick on the right, the green one, engulfs or is bigger than the one on the left. So that is the bullish engulfing pattern. It indicates a potential trend reversal. And the bearish engulfing pattern is very similar. In this case, the red candle on the right engulfs or is bigger than the previous green candle. And so that indicates a trend reversal from an uptrend to a downtrend. Pop quiz. Describe the changes in momentum for each of the four trends listed on the screen. Let's start with the trend on the left in the bullish engulfing pattern. So during this downtrend, is momentum increasing or decreasing? What would you say? So notice that the bodies of these candles are decreasing in size. Therefore, we could say that momentum is decreasing. The strength of the downtrend is getting weaker. Now for the uptrend on the right, the candles are getting bigger. So we could say that momentum is increasing. So the strength of the uptrend, I mean, let me say that again, the strength of the uptrend is getting stronger. So therefore, this is a strong reversal pattern. 
Now for the bearish engulfing pattern, we can see the sizes of the bodies of those candles are getting smaller, therefore momentum is decreasing. The uptrend is about to come to a stop, potentially speaking. Sometimes it can stall and then continue to go back up. Now on the right, the candles are getting smaller, specifically the bodies of the candles, and so momentum is decreasing. Thus, the strength of this reversal doesn't appear to be a strong one because momentum is decreasing as it goes from an uptrend and even into a downtrend. So this reversal pattern is not as strong as this reversal pattern. Now, there are a lot of candlestick patterns out there. I'm not going to go over all of them in this video, but just a few of them. This one is the hammer candlestick pattern, and it indicates another potential reversal that is going from a downtrend to an uptrend. Besides the change in color, notice that we have the hammer candlestick, which is at the bottom. So this one has a lower wick, but not an upper wick. And let's talk about the story behind this particular candlestick. So we know this is the open. Let me redraw it here. So this is the open, this is the close, which is also the high of the day, and the bottom lower wick represents the low of the day. So the stock, it opens here, then it can go down to the low, and then back to the high. In this case, you can clearly see why this would represent a reversal pattern. So during the first part, the sellers are in control, bringing the price down. And during the second part, the buyers take over and they drive the price up. So that color change from red to green indicates potential reversal. Now, another story that can be derived from the hammer candlestick could be this one. It could start at the open and then it can go to the high and then it can go to the low and then it goes back up to the close. So in this case, in the beginning, the buyers are in control the sellers take over, bringing the price down. But at the end, the buyers take control and drive it back to the high of the day. So either case, at the end of that pattern, the buyers took over. So here the sellers were in control, but now the buyers are in control, indicating a reversal pattern. By the way, for those of you who want more videos on stocks and other related content, feel free to check out the links in the description section below. Now another candlestick pattern that I want to mention is the shooting star candlestick pattern because this pattern indicates another trend reversal. In this example, first we have an uptrend followed by a downtrend and here is the shooting star candlestick. So let's see if we can derive the story behind this one. So because we're dealing with a red candlestick, the open is higher than the close. This is the high of the day, and the close is the same as the low of the day. So one possibility that could be happening with this particular candlestick is that it starts at the open, it goes up to the high, and then it closes at the low of the day. So in this case, initially, the buyers, they drove up the stock to the high of the day, then the sellers took control reversing the trend pattern, bringing it down to the close, which is the low of the day. So we can see the color change from green to red, indicating the reversal. Now, something else that could happen with this particular candlestick is that it can open here, it can go down to the low, then to the high, and then back to low, closing the stock for the day. So in this case, the sellers, they took control at the beginning, Buyers came back in, drove the price from the low to the high, and then the sellers came back, brought it back down to the low. In either case, the sellers, they took control at the end of the day, indicating an irreversal from an uptrend to a downtrend. And that's basically it for this video. Hopefully it gave you a good introduction into candlesticks and how to use candlestick patterns to identify a potential trend reversal. So hopefully 
you like this video, if you do, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And also feel free to check out the links in the description section below for those of you who want more stock related video content. Thanks for watching.